WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant and sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of green out there, at least with regard to the U.S. indices. All are trading the upside. Dow's up 172, S&P 21, NASDAQ 100, 104, Russell's up 17, Semi's up 52, Tranny's up 341 points. That's a two and a quarter percent move there. Uh, you've got gold trading up three bucks. Silver's up 23 cents. Lights recruiters off 29 pennies. Natural gas up nine cents. 30-year treasury back about a half a point printed out at 114.15 let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin on the upper left hand side the es mini what do we have we just got a good old-fashioned consolidation between its profile levels 5022 is support 5140 is resistance it does have a bottom it's called a buy the d point bottom that was formed with its bullish reversal candle that puts support now down at 49.63.50. If we take a look at the spot follow tunics, that is something for us to really keep an eye on today, in my opinion, as far as which direction these markets may go right now. Price is below the 50-day. The 50-day is at 15.19. We're at 15.09. If we take a look at the NQ out there, the NQ does not have a bottom pattern. It does have price consolidating with inside its profile. Support at 17.252. Resistance up at the 18. It's right, 18. 089 level out there. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it has a Rhodes Momentum indicator top. It completed that pattern yesterday when it formed a bearish dark cloud cover candle out there. Now, what price is doing? It's really trading in between two sets of profiles. Its daily, <coughs> its daily profile has support at 104.71, and the weekly's got support down at the 104.73 level out there. If we take a look at uh, Goldilocks. Gold is also consolidating with inside its weekly and daily profile for the most part, but certainly the weekly. The weekly profile range between 2278 at support and 2448 as resistance. We take a look at silver. Silver is testing a weekly profile support level that I have calculated on my white background charts. That's at 2651. I would suggest that's a level to watch. Why? Because if price closes below that, we're likely to see a move down to 2411. That's its daily TD9 count breakout level. In the case of lights we've crewed, it's still in that A to B equals CD pattern of the downside. Has not achieved its one-to-one -one initial price objective. That's at 78.19. Uh, we did have a 60% retracement, so I'd be really watching for a bullish reversal candle as price approaches that level. If it does, you've got a Gartley buy pattern for lights we crude. Natural gas, just a sideways consolidation. And with regard to the 30-year treasury, it still struggles at the center of its profile. And that's at 114.26. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care. In the world of trading, only a 